Yo, man, I know I told y'all that I was gonna give this young dog case a break, but I couldn't, man. Man, you know, one of my special viewers reached out to me, man, and I had to bring it to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because this is important in this case, and I'ma send her a shout out, man. A special shout out to them for, you know, bringing this to the viewers' attention, man. Now, I'ma get right into this, man. This topic today is gonna be about Miss Kamisha White, man. Miss Kamisha White, J Money's mom, man. Yeah, Miss Kamisha White, man. Now, I'ma give y'all some information, man. This lady, Kamisha White Henderson, is the one who egged all of this on, man. This lady egged this whole situation on with Young Dolph, man. And I believe truly that this is where this started at. You know what I'm saying? I believe that this is where this started at, allegedly, okay? Now, this lady was a grieving mother who had done lost two kids, you know what I'm saying? And her son, Jay Money, was the head of Chula Mafia, okay? And he was murdered, like I told y'all, coming out that script club. But this lady, this lady wanted revenge, man. Yes, sir. She wanted revenge. Now, I'm going to put it out there right now to show the whole world exactly what this mother wanted. And I understand that she was grieving about her sons, but this lady started a war. This lady started a whole war in between crews, man. And I truly believe this because the evidence is here. And I'm going to present it to y'all. Once y'all look up at that screen, y'all going to see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Now, I kind of knew this. That this lady was involved in some kind of way because you got to think about it her son j money was the head of chula mafia he got taken out so i guess they feel like man the head of pre had to go too so i've come to learn that all of them in memphis they all connected man you know what i'm saying all these gangs all these dudes they all connected memphis is small and all of these dudes they know each other man now i'm gonna read to y'all right now the proof the proof of a grieving mother, the proof of a mother who wants war, and the proof of a mother who wants revenge. And I know I'ma catch a lot of flack behind this, but fuck it, we don't care. We bringing the facts, man, we bringing the facts and we don't give a damn. Now, on November 9th, 2020, this lady made a post on Facebook and it said, I'ma say this, half of you niggas claiming Trula Mafia ain't shit. Ain't gon' shake shit, ain't shook shit, and most of you double R niggas ain't shit. Ain't bout shit, ain't gon' shake shit. Gon' sing soon as the feds and gang unit pick y'all punk ass up. I stand on that 100%. I'm just glad I changed, sister, cause I would have sent half you bitches to jail or hell by now. But I'm good, I don't have to. It will be done. Now that's the first post that you heard about her dissing niggas that's claiming Chula Mafia. She's saying that them Chula Mafia niggas some real bitches. You heard me? She's saying these niggas just a bunch of hoes. They talking and they ain't gonna shake nothing. They ain't never shook nothing and they ain't shit. Okay? This is the mother of Chula Mafia screaming this. Okay? She also went as far as to diss the double R niggas. Yeah, the same niggas that she's saying that has something to do with her son. You feel me? So in this post, she basically inciting this. She basically putting fuel on the fire scene that, you know, niggas from Chula Mafia, man, y'all talking all this shit. Y'all need to go after these niggas from Double R. You feel me? Damn. Now in the next post, she posted this January 2nd, 2021. She said, I don't want revenge later. I want it now, pussy. Chula Mafia. Now, good God, this lady crazy as hell. And she actually left this on Facebook. Now, her next post came in May 14, 2021. And she was responding to a post that came up that said, never expose your next step. Just step, okay? And her reply to that was, fuck you said, it's on the way. Now, this is seven months before Young Dolph was murdered. Seven months before Young Dolph was murdered, the mother of J Money and D Money came on Facebook and said it's on the way what in the hell does she mean by that it's on the way okay sound like to me this lady knew about something 
Sound like the me this lady knew about a plan that was about to go down and she made this post seven months before Young Dolph got killed, okay? And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this lady already is blaming certain individuals for her son J Money getting killed coming out that script club, okay? She believed that the other side had something to do with that, okay? And she believed that the other side had something to do with her other son, D Money, getting shot too. So this lady is very angry. This lady got a lot of Anna on her chest, bruh. And she came on Facebook and did this. You know what I'm saying? She put this out there to the world to let her own crew know y'all some pussies. The other side, y'all some pussies. And niggas better step for my kids, you heard me? Now let me take y'all back. This is the same lady who I posted up that was next to Moneybag Yo at the basketball game, right? And I did a story on her. And in the first story that I did on her, I put it out there. This lady said, right after Young Dolph was killed on December the 8th, she came out and she made a post. And she said, every killing in Memphis should be handled the same. What makes his killing more important than the other killings that occurred before his and after his? Women and children have been shot and killed, but you barely hear or heard anything. MPD, city council, mayor, news outlets, and all y'all say black lives matter. My opinion is all lives matter. Basically, she was saying, you know, what makes Young Dolph murder more important than any other murders that happened in Memphis. You know, this should be treated the same just like any other murder. All lives matter. And she also went on to say on January 13th, this lady went on to say one thing for sure. If you don't know facts about G-Money or D-Money, ask me because somebody just told me that Dolph took my boys G-Money and D-Money in and took care of them and changed their lives. Because I'm trying to see when and where I was. Oh, no. Not facts, baby. Not facts at all. So, she was just saying, like, to all the rumors that was going on out there, Dolph ain't never did shit for her kids. And where was she? When, all these, when Dolph was doing all this, you know what I'm saying? So she's just saying that that's a flat out lie. Dolph ain't had shit to do with her kid's success, basically. And she also went on to say she was in a grocery store and she heard workers talking. They go do this and they gonna do that to straight drop. And she said she asked him, do y'all know him? Oh no, nah, keep his name out y'all mouth then. Yeah, I said it. Said that to say this could have got anyone hit in the mouth or shot if I was another somebody. Folks just be talking and they scared to look. You know what I'm saying? So this lady was basically taken up for straight drop in the grocery store when she heard people talking, you know, mess and crap about him in the grocery store. And she stopped them and actually told them like, yo, y'all need to be quiet. You know what I'm saying? This man, y'all don't know what this man got going on. Y'all need to be quiet. And if I was somebody else, then, you know, possibly y'all could have got shot or could have got hit in the mouth. You feel me? And another person that she was taken up for also was CEO Bobby, you know what I'm saying? CEO Bobby took the Facebook and he said they slandered my name, making up, you know, shit about a nigga. And she tapped in on his Facebook and said, fuck him, son. So that's where the confusion came in at the first time. Because when she said, fuck him, son, I actually thought that she was calling him her son for real. You know, this was before we even found out who she actually was. So now we have come to the conclusion that this lady right here wanted a war. She wanted a war and she got the war that she was looking for, okay, y'all? This was planned out. This was pre-planned. I mean, hey, right here, it's in your face. You seen it. This lady been screaming for war for a long time, man. And that's her being, you know, the mother of G Money, man. And people running around claiming true La Mafia and doing this and doing that and they ain't stepping. You know, she had a problem with that. And she had a real big problem with that. And she took the social media and she expressed her feelings about that. So, you know, I'm sure that these dudes like, you know, CEO TZ and these dudes that stepping up that took the ranks of Chula Mafia. I mean, they all felt some type of way about that. You know what I'm saying? Here we have it, J Money Mama in the back calling us some pussies and shit. And we can't get this job done. You know what I'm saying? So we got to step. In the name of these dudes, man, we got to step, bro. We can't be out here slipping like this. And that's the reason why right now, you know, I'm blaming her, period, for starting this whole war. This lady right here started a war in between these people, man. Because I truly believe that if she hadn't got up there and incited this, 
you know, on Facebook. And Lord knows what she was saying behind closed doors with these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? She was on there, Facebook just giving directives for Chula Mafia to step. Like, y'all niggas better step. And she was speaking about things that was going to happen before it even happened. And I see, you know, I, I find that kind of funny. So I'm going to reach out to my viewers right now and see if y'all feel the same way, man. Because this is fishy. This is fishy. This is fishy. And, you know, I had to bring it to the people, man. I had to bring it. Man, this is Odan TV, man. And I'm going to sign out on this note, man. But don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And y'all give this some real thought. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come back, man. We'll be back.